Governor Little declared the first week of December Computer Science Education Week. I'm Tristan Head, your Wood River Valley neighborhood reporter in Wood River High School has implemented several subjects that provide space for students to expose them to more technologies. Youth are often asked, how does this apply to your future? Marissa Lito loosely invited me into her game design and esports class so that we could find the answer. Immediately I learned, gaming isn't the same as when I was a kid. I think the biggest thing with esports is they're starting to give out scholarships, so it's a very good entryway to get into colleges that you might not otherwise be able to afford. The success found in her classroom is because students have found a genuine interest where they invest their own time, whether it's before or after school, or even during their lunch to refine their practice. But he had the same, um, they would have the same issue that somebody else had previously had. So they were able to help each other out and figure out things like that as well. Yeah. In Dylan Carey's robotics class, students share their ideas with one another to prosper. It's the same as Hank's launcher. We're taking his design and we're putting it up higher so that we can launch it over easier. The process to build can be initiated as trial and error. But to find success at the VEX World Championships, these students have delved into CAD and other software programs in an environment that carriers shifted from the traditional setting. How do we take this template they've seen in schools, you know, worksheet, quiz, test, repeat, and transform that into a real world application where you just want to learn about engines, you want to learn how to work on your car, you want to learn uh, to be an engineer and you're struggling in your class in college and you need to figure it out yourself. Well, we're going to try to learn how to, how to learn, if you will. Uh, it allows us to first model a robot and then build it so we're not messing with all the tolerances and stuff. It allows us to get spacing um, pretty much exact, but we do have to account for tolerances, see how it responds, see what's going to break, that kind of stuff. Just this skill is applied to Lucy's class as well. While someone may anticipate these games to be basic, 2D, some students fall down rabbit holes, spending an estimated 80 hours on their projects. Uh, at first the goal is just to have a boss fight, and then from there just kind of snowballed to be like, oh, well, if I have a boss fight, I should have an opening. If I have an opening, I should have like an ending scene. If I have an ending scene, maybe I should have another level to make it feel like you actually did something to get there. But in this setting, students are also able to delve into the dynamics of how a computer functions. Well, my job, job here, at the, here at the school is to fix all the Chromebooks. Yet to be cost efficient, Robert has refined his technique. With how expensive it could get, so it's just better to EOL them, which means end of life. So we can use those extra parts like this. We can use all the different components inside of this and use it for other ones. These students are applying lessons learned today to their future. I'm Tristan Head, your Wood River Valley neighborhood reporter for Idaho News 6.